either weren't there or weren't the SCA. So we had to add footnotes and explanations. And God help me, I don't know any way to do this song now. <laughs> so you're welcome to sing along. But if my footnotes should stray a bit from your memory of the last time you heard me do the footnotes, <laughs> kindly keep it to yourselves. <laughs> The song has been certified by no less a personage than Duke Sir Andrew, or Duke Sir Albert von Breckenville, now of uh, Ontier, who was there, and when I did this at uh, Midrun 40, he stood up and said, that's exactly as it happened, every word, so never doubt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last year way out in Pentacle, like the Levis, the war. So that we could fight the Easterners at Penzig number four. We marched on in with knife and face and shortened axe and sword. The Eastern Tigers didn't, and that's how we won the war. <laughs> Cause you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. The Eastern fighters learn to their dismay. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Forest, the extra skill keeps getting in your way. <laughs> Merrill Waldy let the Harriers out to sneak and strike and run, and to knock off Crown Prince Angus and to have a lot of fun. Footnote. <laughs> Merrill Wald, the surveyor stuff. Good, proud, do, sir, Merrill Wald. Then just, I think, a count, sometimes called Bozo the Count. <laughs> <laughs> His cloud of red hair. Uh, actually, we created medieval history by smiting Prince Angus of the East, a mighty smote upon the snoot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was quite a snoot. He had one of the, in, a, in an age of free on tank helmets, he had what is known as a pig face bassinet. Beautiful creation that was sort of a heavy metal woody woodpecker thing, long, pointy. That snoot got smout, smoke, and uh, with such force, such certitude, that he was thrown backwards, ricocheted off a tree. And we should have mentioned that it rained something like nine inches the preceding day. So that we were all fighting in about eight inches of polyunsaturated yuck, <laughs> and fell full face into this mess with such force that it required the help of two burly squires to Get him out. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> they laid their ambush funny and cunningly so they could win the day. Then they turned around and found the Eastern Army in their way. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, not even when it's planned as a surprise. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, and an ambush ambush isn't very nice. Father Odin raged and thundered down all through that great campaign and showered lightning bolts around and poured eternal rain. We were getting lightning strikes within a hundred yards of the camp. It was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we exciting. thought it quite inspiring as we saw Gunbog and Ben. And then we saw a soggy cinder where the sergeant should have been. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, especially when you see the lightning spark. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest unless you feel like blowing after dark. We found the Eastern Army drawn up out there in the mud. We closed with them and fought it out and turned it red with blood. Oh, the fighting, it was vicious as we closed it hand to hand. And then we hit the beehive and the corpses jumped and ran. <laughs> now, if we don't put a footnote anywhere else <laughs> in the song, we have to do it. Someone, somewhere, somehow, kicked, hit, sat on, brushed against, but otherwise just royally urinated off a, an entire hive of something. <laughs> Bees, wasps, flying velociraptors, I don't know, but suddenly Yellow they were everywhere, and they were in everything. I had two that got up a sleeve in the armor and started stinging, but you know, when 20 guys are trying to hit you with sticks, you don't pay attention. Other people were not quite as lucky as me. Uh, Albert 
fun, right? There's Albert Bunder. In an age of Freon tank helmets, he had a gorgeous gothic helmet that he had made with an attached bever that clamped up under here. Took him about five minutes to get the whole thing on and off. Two of them got in his eye slots. Uh, as it turned out, he was unstung, he was unharmed, but he had a few tense moments. And he was last seen running up a trail toward the camp, banging the anvil for us in this <laughs> with an equally beautiful pair of gothic numbers. But he was, in fact, unscathed, so that's okay. However, a certain other young knight of the Middle Kingdom was not so lucky. He got a couple of these little buzzers, where no married man should ever have to worry about such things. And he was indeed stunned. He was also seen sort of wobbling up the same trail, tiptoe, knees together, clutching his nether regions. And I believe he was praying because he brought up the name of our Savior quite frequently. <laughs> <laughs> you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest if your cocky stings and swells and turns bright red. No, you can't swing a rod, sir, when you're in the forest. The buzzing isn't coming from your head. <laughs> we met the Eastern. <laughs> we met the Eastern Iron Tiger out there in the mud and damp. We could beat the Eastern Tiger, but we couldn't find the camp. We got lost, okay? It was big woods. We finally found our way back, and the final figure stayed. Middle Kingdom 3, East 2, and Mother Nature 48. Cause you can swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I'm tired of fighting while the rain pours down. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I don't mind steel, but I don't want to drown. Oh, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Jump like a fish, jump like a porpoise, roll in the mud and pensic war. It doesn't work after 50 years. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I have been stung. I have been stung. Oh, goodness gracious, I have been stung. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Listen, you got a pair of dry socks. I got a $50 debil here. We got to make a deal. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I don't mind steel, but I don't want to drown.